Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over what Python virtual environments are, why you'd use one, how to create a virtual environment, and how to use them in your workflow. My name is Brayden, thanks for checking out this video. So what is a virtual environment? Python is great and includes a lot right out of the box, but at the same time there is certain functionality that it doesn't have. So we can add that additional functionality by installing packages. A Python package contains code to help us be more efficient and to accomplish things we might not have been able to do otherwise. If you're unsure of what a package is, you can check out my other video on how to install pip where I go over what packages are in more detail. The link is in the description below and the top right corner of this video. A virtual environment allows us to keep these packages or groups of packages separate from other groups of packages. This allows us to install different versions of the same package or only certain packages in our group. It also allows us to use certain packages with different versions of Python. So why would we want to do this? The longer and more projects you start to work with, the more likely you will run into problems where you will need to update a package. If you update a package, this could cause errors in the project that you used with the old version of that package. There are other instances, perhaps with making a dashboard where you want to only include the packages that you need for the project in order to keep it as small as possible, rather than including all of your Python packages. This is where Python virtual environments can be amazing. It took me a little while to see the beauty of Python virtual environments, and it might as well for you. If it does, that's okay. Uh, the focus should first be on learning the basic elements of Python first, but I want you to get started with and used to the idea of virtual environments. The important thing to take away from virtual environments if you're brand new to programming with Python is that a virtual environment allows you to organize groups of packages so that you can be working with different versions and different packages on individual projects. If you already have Python installed, you're good to go. If not, check out the description below to view the video on how to install Python. We'll want to open up Windows PowerShell or your command prompt. Once you're there, you'll want to type pip install virtual env. So I found out that you cannot use virtual environments on Windows Sandbox. So I'm going to transition over to my main computer now so that we can install and use virtual environments. So what I've done on my computer is pip install virtual env after we've installed virtual vnv we'll want to create a virtual environment but we'll want to do that in the directory that we want our virtual environment located in. So I'm going to change directories to documents and then I'm going to make a new directory called chart explorers and change directories to chart explorers. Once there we can create our virtual environment we can do that by typing virtual env and then the name of our environment. I tend to stick with venv for my name on all my projects. This way I always know what the name of my virtual environment is. It just will change based on where it's located, what directory it's in. If you're using a specific version of Python, you can specify that by tacking on to the end dash p and then the location of your executable. Uh, 
However, we're just going to use the main version of Python installed on our system, so we don't need that. All right, now you have a virtual environment created. You can check that by typing in the ls command in your PowerShell. You can also just try to activate it. You can activate your virtual environment by period backslash the name of your virtual environment, in this case venv backslash scripts with a capital S backslash activate. We can see on the very left of our command prompt here that our virtual environment is in parentheses. That's how we can know that our virtual environment was successfully activated. We can see what packages are installed in our virtual environment by pip list. And we can even install packages here, which will just be installed in this virtual environment. We'll install pandas. And after it's installed, we'll just run pip list again. And we see that our virtual environment now contains pandas and its dependencies. To get out of our virtual environment, we can type in the command deactivate. Now we see that our virtual environment is no longer active. To make it easier for you, I have written down the main steps in the description below if you want to check that out. Thanks for checking out this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing for more future content. Thanks.